the first three installments of this series were planned for the GCN 1 and 2 era of Radeon video cards. What I wanted to point out is that one can enjoy good games, Dying Light in this case, on fairly cheap hardware. I decided to use the data collected for three more cards for another video dedicated to this game, but this time around I will not focus on a single GPU manufacturer or architecture. The cards being used in this video are the venerable Kepler powered GTX 770 using 2GB of VRAM on a 256 bit bus, the much less power hungry AMD Radeon RX 460 using also 2GB of VRAM but on a 128 bit bus, and the tiny Pascal GT 1030 sporting the same amount of RAM but on an even smaller bus of just 64 bits. No, I did not get an upgrade for Christmas, so the cards ran in the same Z230 workstation from HP, with the E3-1241B3 Xeon CPU, the enterprise version of the i7-4770, paired with 32GB of DDR3 RAM running at 1600MHz in dual channel. At 1080 resolution, the performance chart looks more or less as expected, with the average FPS ranging from 55 on the GT1030 to 103 on the GTX 770. The 1% loss, however, tell a different story, and only the Nvidia cards provides 1% loss that are not that far from their corresponding average FPS. The GT1030 has this number at 35 FPS, which is about 64% of the average. The GTX 770 62 FPS for a similar ratio to the average FPS. The RX 460, however, 24 FPS for about 28% of the average, and the game experience suffers because of this. 1600 by 900 is a reduction of pixel count to about 70% of the full HD, so we should be getting a performance boost of around 40 to 50%. The GT1030 is the only card that had its performance increased almost proportionally with the pixel drop and it now averages 72 FPS and has the 1% lows in the low 50s. The GTX 770 ended up hitting a bit over 120 FPS on average and the 1% lows of just 73. Just like the Full HD results, the game experience is good with the Nvidia cards. The RX 460 does bump up the average to 107 FPS, but the 1% lows... those are even worse than at 1080 resolution. The last resolution tested 1280x720 points to a platform bottleneck on the GTX 770, with the average FPS staying in the same range of 120 FPS. 1% loss went up a bit however, and now reside in the mid 80s. The GT1030 also benefits from the resolution drop, and the card now runs the game at 96 FPS. The 1% loss stayed surprisingly in the low 50s. As for the RX 460, the increase of average FPS is negated by the same paltry 10 FPS for the 1% lows. I was hoping for more from the RX 460, and I can't help thinking that I am probably doing something wrong. Both the GT1030 and GTX 770 ran according to my expectations with the tiny GT1030 enjoying a much lower TDP and driver support from Nvidia. We're done with this video, I hope you liked it. 